Cancer Serpa, who's one of the artists of the, the exhibition called Untitled that we create, co-created with Thomas Aoseago and Munal Fituri. And we choose two works of yours, which is coming from a, a previous series, so 1918, I would um, think, which represents a kind of intimacy with a, a body. And you are, uh, so, so the first question is to see if you okay with the work we choose compared to the rest of your work. Yes, um, for me, uh, both of these paintings uh, really resonate with like my practice as a whole. They're both actually, um, for the most part, I don't uh, talk about uh, who is uh, pictured um who is like displayed in these paintings but uh these two in particular are actually um you know both in the collection of good friends and uh including yourself and they're also both happen to be actual uh like depictions of myself um so you know uh for like choosing and like like the guessing game like who's who you know both of my friends chose me. Uh, so, uh, and then in that way also, um, the painting on wood that belongs to you is from when I first started teaching myself how to paint in um, this style, in this way with oil and depicting the body and flesh. And uh, the painting from Olivier was uh, another attempt at my first uh, uh, attempt at working on canvas rather than wood so um, they feel like something that I'll like you know look back on with you know these first experiments in this medium and it's uh, really yeah. nice to see them. I remember at the time uh, visiting you in your very small studio in New York <laughs> <laughs> but it's um, so you placed in a room that we call the sex room where there's a lot of um, uh, masculine position in a way uh, because they are the most represented the uh, thing or speak spoke things since the past uh, in the recent time depends on which uh, uh, country time you speak speaking so we included in the show some uh, older African works and from uh, and works from um, a Palestinian culture from be before Christ so just to speak to argue that the the subject is something which goes with time it's not just now but uh, you are more feminine so to speak compared to <laughs> yes <laughs> compared to some other position um and maybe uh you're also someone who, who, who decide to be more feminine or to become a woman so it's very different in terms of definition uh, than in the past uh, 50 years or even in the past century yes uh when i think about uh this like contextualization i i feel like i fit uh right in because at the end of the day these are just you know these like ruminations uh on um not as much uh, gender, but this type of like kind of like potency and like the, you know, the forms that like we just, you know, ascribe uh, names to. And in this way, I feel that these like paintings in that context uh, fit very well because they're also like, you know, something that uh, in, the same way maybe at the time these other figures were like depictions of like very specific people moments and uh, things that have been kind of like lost to time like you know who these were made an image of for and in a lot of ways i like to think about um these markers that i'm putting forth and presenting on this you know this uh kind of flat plane as this these little uh testaments to these interactions in between people and with people and themselves, with people and other people. But also uh, because of just how I crop them, they become very anonymized uh, and can also, they're kind of like, I feel that they become like lost to time, like already just by the act of just 
giving them very little definition. Um, For sure. There's also something very beautiful, again, of erotism, which doesn't uh, lock sexuality with just the sexual part of the body, but everything yes. has become sexual. So it yeah. goes beyond uh, masculine, feminine. It's the, yeah. that's the part, I think, which is also beautiful. I like to think about this, uh, well, when I was younger and um, in a science class, uh, you know, some kids were just uh, kind of like talking about, uh, et cetera. You know, we were learning about like sex for the first time. And um, I remember uh, this, um, just like a kid in my class was uh, said, oh, you know, I read this article about how actually you know, any part of your body can be a sexual, like, uh, can be activated, like, sexually. Like, some people can just arrive at a point from, you know, just interplay with, like, their hands, with their, like, elbow, with their shoulder. And, you know, it could start, you know, at any point. You know, you could even, like, kind of train yourself to do that. You know, some classically uh, trained actors can make themselves come on cue from, you know, just kind of like ruminating on, you know, this moment. As Lady Gaga classically, I mean, famously said that she could make herself uh, orgasm on cue <laughs> because she was a classically trained performer. Um, but uh, yeah, in terms of like thinking about uh, just like any part of your body being able to be activated in this way, uh, when I look at the paintings as well, because they're usually just little, you know, chunks of you know, just like this, actually, and like, uh, as in um, the two paintings there, uh, yeah, I feel, um, you know, I'm still that, like, child in the science class kind of just, like, ruminating on that, just like, oh, like, very interesting, you know, I could kind of escape sex as just, like, being, you know, one part of your body. Yeah, I think it's, a, it's also nice to uh, go beyond a man, woman, all those questions. So it, it goes, it brings you in another mental landscape, at least. Yes. Not. Yeah. Um, and um, so you're pleased to be in that room, apparently, and the, yes. in that context. You are the younger artist in the, in the exhibition, and you're next to Kasia Fudakovsky, which I hope you're going to me to produce that that work uh, that to make it that door uh, yes uh, and in uh, the room there's some other question of obviously with feminist position with a cannibalistic position as woman uh, so to speak with valley expo with lee lodano or body with um, alina because i think we had a lot to do on that as women with the history yeah. Uh, but the other thing that we try to raise is the studio space, not as automatically a studio space, but as a mental space, as um, a distance space. So do you have a lot to do with the studio space or that mental um, moment to, to be free from, a bit from the context? Um, in, uh, in regards to that, uh... I mean, lately, I mean, especially, you know, post lockdown where I was just ostracized from my, you know, my own like kind of like workspace, both just mentally as well as like physically, like from the actual room. Um, it, uh, it's led me to just kind of like reconsider a lot in terms of like what my work is and like activates in me and like what I need, like the prerequisites for me to be able to start making something. Um, so uh, in that way, then these are also just gonna be in their placement and what they are, they're also going to be, you know, testaments to, you know, a different way of like thinking about work that I'm probably not going to have like back again. I think things are much more um, in uh, in transit for me now. Um, and yeah, you know, uh, yeah. Right now, I mean, I'm 
going to write a screenplay for a horror movie and it feels like something that I could, you know, just do in my yard and it feels kind of like safer in my head right now. Um, but uh, yeah. Because you have a space that you share and that you also run as a, as an exhibition space. Yes. Yes. Um, but uh, yeah, also just, you know, everywhere you go, you just try to carve out some space for yourself. And, you know, I used to have a very tiny room and yeah. <laughs> a tiny, like a corner in somebody else's studio um, to now where, you know, I have my nice basement, but now I'm just, you know, I get something with a little bit more light. Um, but, uh, Yes, I'm, I'm very uh, comfortable with like that placement and that like contextualization for it. Just feels from like another era. <laughs> so at the moment you're more into making a, a scenario than a, what so-called artwork. I mean, with you, the frontier is always open in a way. So. Yeah, I want to, right now I'm just like, you know, I want to write like a large text again, more like, this uh the book that i put out um two years ago uh with koenig um and uh, just also probably just to you know vent out the feelings of the moment and you know it has been quite a strong period for all of us the state of the moment i mean post lockdown both post crisis post all that you mean yes yeah to weed that out. Yeah. But yeah, very excited. <laughs>